Now, they say a Weight Watchers, a way to lose weight is try eating all your meals naked in front of a mirror. <laughs> yeah, well, guys, I, I did that for about a week at the Olive Garden. <laughs> yeah, now I get free breadsticks for life. <laughs> Now, I read in New York, though, I read in New York in the paper, this supermodel said she didn't need to eat because she liked the taste of air. <laughs> Evidently, she has never ridden the subway in New York City in July. <laughs> now, I was thinking about that, though, and I said, hey, I like the taste of air when Cinnabons come out of the oven <laughs> at Ikea. That's why I like that. And I recently went to L.A. to do some comedy, and um, the women in L.A. have gotten so thin that when I went to this comedy club, they actually didn't believe me that I was a comedian. They thought I was an entire comedy group. <laughs> Honest to God. I said, that is crazy. But when I was in LA, I said, all right, you know what? I'm gonna break down. I'm gonna try the celebrity diet. Now that was just weird. Cause once I ate a couple of celebrities, <laughs> actually I like, I only ate one, Justin Bieber, but somebody had to. Exactly, exactly. Now, you mentioned I've been on Louie a couple of times. The first time I was on Louie was the best, because I got to play a homeless woman that vomited on Louie's shoes on 6th Avenue, because I get the best roles. <laughs> and then like a couple of months later, I run into Louie at a comedy club. So like an idiot, you know, I go running up to him and I go, hey Louie, it's me, Pat, your homeless woman. And I go in for the big kiss, and he just gives me this look as if to say, oh my God. Did I get drunk one night and bang some homeless woman on the way home? <laughs> but nothing else matters, guys, in this life. You wanna know why? Because my husband still thinks I'm sexy. <laughs> of course I drug him. <laughs> and you know how I know love is blind? Every year on our wedding anniversary, he goes out and gets me uh, that black lace, a new black lace sexy negligee like I wore on our honeymoon but he gets it for me in the exact same size five. And then he says to me, kind of like in a Barry Bike voice, he goes, he goes, oh baby, it still looks so good on you. You still look so sexy in it. It still fits you just like a glove. And I said, that's right, honey, because it only fits on my fucking hand. <laughs> we nicknamed it my OJ negligee. I can say that because OJ and I have the same birthday. Now you're all afraid of me. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. So I have some other good news. My husband is also seven years younger than me. I want some rules, ladies. So I did not want to go to his high school reunion and be the oldest woman there. But after he gave me a bottle of tequila and slipped me a roofie, I agreed to go. Thank you. So we got there, and everybody kind of acted like they knew me. They kept telling me how young I looked and how pretty I looked. So like in the end, I had this wonderful time. So the next day, they sent like a group photo with everyone's names on it. So I said to them, all right, well, who do they think I was? They were so nice. Like the class president or the prom queen? They thought I was the high school gym teacher. <laughs> Wait, it's worse. Not just any gym teacher, the girls softball coach. <laughs> Yeah, I slipped myself a roofie after that. <laughs> so I'll leave you with this, guys. It's, it's starting to get time for vacation time. And uh, last year on vacation, my husband and I went hiking in Utah. And I noticed there's a lot of white people here tonight. Are you okay, sir? Uh, uh, there's a lot of white people here tonight. But in Utah, the white people, they're not like your regular white people. They're like a pasty white. I don't know if it's the Mormons or inbreeding. All I know is... <laughs> Oh, we're in this barbecue place, like in the middle of nowhere, and I noticed that they were looking at us, and we were looking at them, and they were looking at us, and finally I said to my husband, honey, I think we're the only black people in here. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed a little taste of Caesar. That's my time. That's it.